viewers welcome to engineering study materials today we are going to discuss about the material handling equipments so let's get into the video material handling equipments are the tools or the devices that is used to transport or the movement of the materials from one place to another inside an industry warehouse or some other place there are five general machines that are used to do transport the materials they are industrial trucks conveyors cranes and hoists automated guided vehicles and monorail and other rail guided vehicles the industrial trucks are generally used in most of the industry because it will be a common uh, device that is used they are there are two types of the industrial trucks they are non powered and powered in non powered it has a consists of a container where the materials can be stored and consists of a connected to a lengthy bar that can be pulled by a human worker in case of a powered industrial truck it consists of a motor uh, or a engine that can be driven by a human worker so that the movement of materials can be performed then conveyors conveyors is a a machine that consists of a pulley and a belt system so that it can be move the materials from one place to another but it consists of only a fixed path generally in large quantities or volumes okay then cranes and hoists these are the handling devices for lifting lowering transporting materials by means of a pulley and uh, wire metallic wire and uh, some hoist but it can uh, withstand or take the heavy loads hoists accomplish vertical lifting and cranes provide horizontal travel and generally include one or more hoist then automated guided vehicles they are battery powered automatically steered vehicles then follow a defined pathways in the floor the defined pathways may be um, a taped or a painted uh, floor or some rail paths or the some stickers or sensors can be implemented on the floor so that the vehicle can sense the path and goes in a way then monorail and other rail guided systems these are the system that consists of the rail and uh, like a train system that is a track and a roller or a, a rail wheel etc then industrial trucks industrial trucks are divided so as we say see before that uh, non powered and powered the non powered are may man may man man handled and non powered are uh, electrically or engine powered then these are the vehicles that can be used to, to transport the vehicles this is a, some two wheel hand trucks this is a four wheel dolly this is a hand operated pallet trucks in this truck the height cannot so be adjusted through this type of a jockey then powered trucks the powered trucks are self propelled vehicles that relieve that workers of manually moving the truck three common types are there that is the walkie trucks forklift trucks and towing tractors this is the walkie truck a single man can operate this walkie truck and it can also lift the vehicle as well as it can the vehicle can also be moved in and around the factory this forklift truck is used to tow carry the heavy somewhat heavy that is a, a large can a large wood etc so that it can be used to tow lift and move inside the factory this is a towing tractor this is used to carry the small pieces but in large number by towing towing by means of two or more uh, more additional uh, carriers so that large parts can be attached together by in this type of towing tractors a single man can be operated this type of trucks then conveyors 
A conveyor is a mechanical apparatus for moving items or bulk materials, usually inside a factory. They are used when materials must be moved in large quantities over a fixed path in the floor, above the floor or overhead. Conveyors are either powered or non-powered. A non-powered material is moved manually by human workers or by the gravity from one elevation to a lower elevation, that is upper to lower. And the powered conveyors contain a power mechanism like chain, belt, rolling rot rotating roll to propel loads along the fixed path. The types of conveyors are roller conveyors, skate wheel conveyors, belt conveyors, overhead trolley conveyors and other etc. Roller conveyors. The roller conveyors are mo used mostly in industries uh, that are performing the cargo applications because if you place the box in this type of roller it cannot be damaged and it will be safely handled the rollers are contained in a fixed frame that elevates the pathway above the floor level in the roller conveyors the pathway consists of a series of tubes that are perpendicular to the direction of the travel the load must possess a flat bottom surface they are either powered or non-powered in the non-powered, they are simply a fixed or a rot roller that is rotated along its own axis. The box can be placed over it. A human worker can um, push the box in the pathway so that it can be traveled from one or moved from one place to another. There also be powered rollers with connected to an electrical motor. Then skate wheel conveyors. These are similar operation to a roller conveyors in the way that skate wheels are arranged in a proper way so that the parts can be moved from one way to another. They use skate wheels rotating on shafts connected to a frame of a roll pallets, pans or containers. They are lighter than roller conveyors and the loads carried also be lighter because the skate wheels will be lighter so that it can handle or carry only the loads with lighter capacity. Then belt conveyors. The belt is made up of a reinforced yellow stomer. It consists of a continuous loop. Half of its length is used for delivering and other half is for the return. There are two types of belts. They are flat belts or for individual parts and truffed belts for bulk materials. That is truffed means a two belts for truff and or coal gravel grain. And overhead trolley conveyor. A trolley runs on an overhead rail from which loads can be suspended. This can be used for the parts that are, can be painted because if we want to uh, move the painted parts, we cannot be able to use the roller or skate conveyors because the painted parts can stick on to the rollers. If, but if we use the overhead trolley conveyor, it cannot be damaged or can be, cannot be, the paint will not get removed. So the trolleys are connected together and moved along the track by means of a chain or a cart that forms a loop, hooks, baskets or other receptacles are suspended from trolleys to carry the loads. They are used in factories to move parts and assemblies for delivery and storage. And delivery uh, for, and the assembly operations cannot be performed because the, if you want to perform the, some uh, assembly operations under the product, we can uh, use the overhead trolley process, uh, trolley conveyor because it will be easy for assembly. And other types of conveyors are chain conveyor, screw conveyor, in-floor toweling conveyor, cotton track conveyor, wire mesh conveyor, bucket conveyor, vertical conveyor, spiral conveyor, vibrating conveyor, pneumatic conveyor, dust proof conveyor, pharmaceutical conveyor and automotive conveyors. Then comes to cranes and hoists. A crane is a type of machine generally equipped with the hoist. That is a system that you which consists of a pulley and a metal wire attachment so that can can be able to lift and wire rope or chain crane is used for the horizontal movement of the materials hoist is used for vertical lifting the cranes is used for lifting the heavy things and transporting them to other places it can able to lift for above 100 tons a hoist can also be consist of a one or more fixed pulleys one or more uh, ropes cable and that is chain strung between the pulleys. A hook or other means for attaching load is connected in moving pulleys. The number of pulleys is determined 
the by the load which will, which will to be carry if you want to carry the light load uh, single pulley can be enough to lift the load but if you want to uh, lift the heavy load two or two pulleys two or more pulleys can be used to for the purpose it determines its medical mechanical advantage is the ratio of the weight to the driving force required to lift the weight so what are the applications cranes are commonly employed in the transport industry for the loading and unloading of freight in construction industry for the movement of materials and in the manufacturing industry for the assembly of heavy equipment then types fixed crane tower crane self acting crane telescopic crane hammerhead crane level luffing crane gantry crane deck crane bulk handling crane loader crane and stacker crane then gantry crane this is the most important and mostly used in the industries because it will be able to run over the rail system in all the x y and z axis the police can be traveled over these three axis the presence of one or more one or two vertical legs that support the horizontal bridge double gantry crane has two legs and a half gantry crane has a single leg um, then a gantry crane includes one or more hoists that accomplish the vertical lifting in this we can see the vertical lifting then jib crane it consists of a hoist supported on a horizontal beam that is cantilevered from a vertical column or a wall support it consists of a vertical column and a horizontal member so that it can able to lift the parts horizontal beam pivots about the vertical axis to provide a horizontal sweep the vertical the horizontal member can sweep around 360 degrees so that each parts can be around the it can be lifted horizontal beam also serves as a track for the hoist trolley to provide the radial travel along the length of the beam so this is a short video friends if you like this video put a thumbs up and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching